Hello and welcome to Wheatzer's Woodshop. My name's Ted. We're gonna make some things. been working all day so it's time to eat. I'm gonna do something a little different. We're gonna do some outdoor cooking since I got the fire pit going. Hey, you get out of there. She's already sneaking. So today we're gonna do a Pacific Northwest favorite, our Pacific oysters that we get. And this is the first year or first time this year that we've gotten them. So uh, we got a nice bag, a couple dozen. And uh, so the secret is cooking over an open fire. You gotta find a grate some kind of grate that you can uh, put over there. I found these stainless steel uh, panels and uh, these work amazing. You can find other stuff, you know, you can use barbecue um, grates if you want to, if, you're, if your fire's smaller, whatever. But whatever can, you can get the oysters to sit upright in here. So, and I'll show you that why. So, we get the fire down to coals with whatever wood you like, alder, you know, uh, you can use pine, uh, whatever's dry, and get it hot. And then we fill it up with uh, charcoal, and then that stays really hot in there. And then uh, we got the oysters, we got butter, we got garlic, we got tequila, lime-flavored tequila and regular tequila, your favorite hot sauce. We're gonna cook some sausages also. Um, <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. So uh, let's uh, get this started. All right, here was a, what I was talking about, about getting your fire down to coals. So I put these two new logs on here because I want that smoky flavor. Um, charcoal's gonna smoke anyway, but, and then once these get smoldering like this and the other coals are hot on the inside, and you just move these to the side and let them smoke. That's what we're actually looking for. Yeah, I know, smokeless fire pit, right, sure, whatever. But this is what we're looking for right here, so. Then we'll just spread that apart and then it provides a nice barrier too when you when you put your charcoal inside here and uh, this one's not cooperating there we go just like so and you can see the hot coals in the middle now just take your bag of charcoal or i got this caddy here and we will now just dump some right in the middle That should be about right. Uh, that's about, what, two, three pounds? Maybe a little more than that. Maybe you can go about four pounds. We'll be out here the rest of the evening so we can enjoy the fire. So that's perfect. Now, just uh, spread that out a little bit. Make sure everything gets hot. Get a little piece of in there. And then we wait. We'll just wait for this to get white hot, and then we'll put those grates up there. All right, so fire looks like, or the charcoal looks like it's getting to be a pretty good stage. The wood's getting hot enough to where it's starting to light on fire a little bit. So right here, make sure you get a nice pair of leather gloves. Um, not a nice pair, but I, I mean a junky pair, because they're gonna get ruined, but this stuff gets pretty hot. So uh, when you start cooking the, uh, oysters they're going to uh, have a lot of moisture a lot of sea salt water stuff inside of them so just get a nice old pair of gloves or if you have a new pair don't worry about it though if they're good gloves they'll be fine um, these are holy so not religious holy <laughs> broken holy all right so let's put the grates on top and it doesn't really matter up or down but you want to cover this fire and the smoke's still going really good so grates are great. Now the nice thing about these having two is if I want to put more stuff on there while it's sitting there I can move this over and then put that in so there's a little fire cooking tip for you I guess. Line those up really nice get those hot. So let's talk about these oysters. Um, there's a dish and a flat side on these oysters. So Usually the hump side right here, if I can get this closer, 
this hump side right here is where the water's going to maintain, just like a dish. There's another one that's uh, this is a nice flat side. Now, the oyster is going to be attached to the flat side. So when these open, that moisture will not come out of there and it won't dry up this, this oyster. So another thing too is to make sure that that dish goes down into these squares and then it stays there. See how nice that just sits there? So we just start stacking them on there and then when they start opening up, then that's when we start uh, putting the ingredients in. Now, the other thing too, butter and garlic. So we want to put this in here. So this will start to melt. Keep it on the side. Oops, there we go. And then one of the secret ingredients that we like to do too is Havarti cheese. So you cut up some pieces of cheese and then when these start opening and then they start cooking, we put these on the very last and then top it with some hot sauce. So there you go. All right, so we will stack these up and get these going over the fire, hump side down. And uh, we'll watch these things split open and start spitting. And then they'll start smelling really good too. So. And you, you can spread them out, which is a smart idea. You don't have to put them directly over the fire. Sometimes they get hot pretty fast. So just put them around the edges, which would be really good. And we'll slowly cook them. All right, let's talk about some more of these ingredients here. So. We've got some Havarti cheese. I already showed you that. These are the sausages we're also gonna cook along with it just because we wanted some. So I think these are from Costco. I don't know, turkey sausage. I don't know what they are. They're good. Um, <clears throat> we use our Cholula hot sauce, which is really good because it's got a lot of spice in it. Um, and it's not overpowering. I mean, it tastes very good. It's got good flavor. It's not my favorite, but any of the good hot sauces, any of your favorite hot sauces, even uh, Tabasco, uh, you know, even some of the flavored Tabascos, um, you know, you name it, you could, you could use whatever you like. I mean, so this is what we had on hand, it was brand new. And then instead of cutting up lime, like we used to, and then when they opened up, we'd squirt that in there or, or squeeze it in there, which was really good. It's not a bad thing. It's, um, it was very tasty. We ended up getting some of this, uh, oh, Stella. Uh, Dul Dulce Vita, lime infused uh, tequila. Um, <laughs> really, really good. Uh, and you can also use lemon. You don't have to use lime, but lime and tequila, that's the mixture. And then this, we brought back from Mexico. <laughs> that's all we got left. So we'll add a little bit of the regular tequila. I think this is agave espolón, tequila blanco from Mexico. So we brought this back. We've got a lot more of this. And uh, man, this stuff's really good. So, so the order this will go is we'll put, when, once those start opening up, and then the uh, butter and the garlic will melt, and those will infuse together. Then we s take the top part off, put a drop of butter, butter and garlic, or a little spoonful, then let that cook a little bit, and then put a few, maybe a teaspoon of of tequila, either one, let that cook, let it all, you know, and then the tequila is going to just add flavor. The alcohol is going to go away, so it'll cook away. And then right before we take them off, we put a few drops of the hot sauce and then the cheese on top and let it melt and then eat. And man, man, oh man, oh man. This is absolutely the best way to eat oysters. So, all right, so let's uh, watch some of these open up. All right, some of these are now starting to explode, so I thought maybe I'd film this a little. And you can see them start to spit, and they're starting to split. So things are starting to cook on the inside. And then they'll just release, and then usually it means the, that that uh, organism, or the meat on the inside is now dying, so it's gonna release, and the steam will build that pressure and it'll open it up, so. And then as the, the coals die down a little bit, you start just moving them more to the center. And then I put the sausages on there so they could just, the butter's getting melted really nice. So a couple of these are, like this one right here is starting to fizz. And then things are getting hot. So we'll 
keep going. Yeah, there's some leakage right there. So, getting, getting close. Okay, there it is. Look at that. There's a split open oyster. So things are happening pretty fast. You see the other one starting to fizz or bubble. And then moisture's dripping out. So that's what we're looking for. I moved them closer to the fire. Things are cooking a little faster. So let's uh, grab that one real quick and open it up and I'll show you what we do. Okay, so the best way to do this is to get your another dish and let's get my gloves. And you just grab this one, super hot. And try not to spill it. And you're gonna spill a little. Open that puppy up. Leave that juices in there. Put that down. And then look at that beautiful oyster. Man. And then grab your oyster shucker and scrape that right into that dish. And then discard this. Boom. Then put this back on the fire. Boy, that's hot. And let that cook. Now, it's got the moisture and stuff in there from the salt water. And this is pretty close to being melted the way it is. We should have moved this a little closer, but that's okay. We got a couple more that are opening up here. Mix this up. That one just popped right there. All right. So we got some warm melted butter right here. Take some garlic and just a little butter and just put it right in there. Mix it with it, just a, just a dab, that's it. Right there is all you need. And then we'll let that cook. I'll leave this right here. And that should be done pretty quick. All right, so as quick as I could, you can see the presentation here where all the dished sides of the shells and then you can see them cooking. I moved them to the outside, moved the sausages in the middle, of course. And you don't want them to get dry. Like this one's getting a little dry. Just put a little more butter on them and let them saute in that butter and garlic. And uh, you should be okay. Uh, I actually lost one. <laughs> so we got one down there burning in the coals. There's another one. So you can see they're all starting to sizzle and boil a little bit. And you kind of want that. You want them cooked. Now, sausages probably need to be rolled. So, next step right here is to take your tequila. Oh, good tequila. And on every one of these, just hit it with a few drops. That's all you gotta do. Baste it in there. Now you got lime and tequila. Oops, you got a little flare up. There's the alcohol. That's all you have to do. Just pour that on gets rid of some of the garlic, but that's okay. They've been sauteing in the garlic for a little while. And then this keeps them from drying out too. And it just takes a splash, just a hint of flavor. And that's it. Some of them splashed a little bit more. That's okay. And you can see most of the liquid stays in that dish and they kind of, they just saute in there. Whoops. Ooh, that one's going to be really tasty. So, oh, I can smell it. I wish you guys could smell this. We need smell of vision something fierce. Tequila and lime just sizzling. Oh, so good. I think I got this one, this one, and that one. Woo, woo, good stuff. All right, so let that saute in there for a little bit. And then, I don't know, give it about two, three minutes let that alcohol cook off and then uh, you know babysit your sausages oh these are starting to look really good too don't want to lose one of these oh, there's one split perfect and then once they start cooking really good see how they cradle I got them all facing the same direction so they cradle into these squares so perfect um, obviously though you do lose one once in a while but that's what you want. Get them nice and level. Here's one that probably needs a little more butter and garlic. You can just go crazy with this. And make it, make it your own. If you like garlic, if you like butter, if you 
don't, if you like more tequila, whatever. All right, so these are getting pretty cooked. Now, just move these to the edge, just like so. You're gonna spill probably. Yep, that's hot. Get the, oh, that is very hot. Get these off the edge. They're gonna stay warm. Or off the middle, sorry. That's what's so great about these crates or these whatever panel you can get. Man, that fire's warm. Move this all the way out. Hopefully you guys can still see what I'm doing here. And then get these to, oh, almost dumped that one. That was almost tragic. This one's a little close, still boiling. Get that out of there. This one needs to go. Now, these are all pretty much done. These are all, this one's probably needs a little more cooking. This one's almost perfect. This one's perfect. I got a little shell attached to that. These are all cooked very well. Now, see how I got them all on the edge? So they're still staying warm. That one's cooking a little more. These are all cooking. I could probably move this one over here. That's staying warm. This one's well done. Oops, spilled a little, staying warm. All right, let's move this guy back. Okay, so, next. Take your cheese and drop it on the top. Just like so. And we will watch this melt live. And then Havarti's so smooth and buttery anyway, so. But we got a lot of butter and garlic in there, so this flavor is gonna be amazing. Just a little piece of cheese, that's all you need. So yummy. God, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells like Pacific Northwest and Mexico made it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Let's put one on here, that's gonna melt fast. All right, let's get these other ones. The sausages are sizzling. This is so perfect. Wow, it looks like we just got just enough cheese. That's excellent. That's all you need. Let's do two on that big one right there. One more for the chef. All right, now, for the hot sauce. After that's starting to melt, just take a dab of hot sauce. Boom, whoops, that's too much. Boom, boom, that's it. Some will have more. Just the flavor, so yummy. A little bit of spice is always nice. Sausages look like they're just about done. Oh, tequila, hot sauce, garlic, butter, heaven. Oh, this one's, this one missed out right there. Come to the party, buddy. You too. Here we go. All right, there it is. There it is, all these flavors. Just perfect. Now, if I have the skill, let's see if I can move this one away because it's starting to melt pretty good. Looks like this stuff's getting pretty cooked. Sausages are doing well. Oh, just about lost that one. Slippery. Pretty close. It almost looks as though we can move these in. Melt some of that cheese. Now, if you're skilled enough, you can use these. But I am not. So, let's go back to the glove thing. The other thing about this is that fire stays pretty hot.
got a little bit of coals in it, but that's the way it goes. I'll eat it. <laughs> so the wife went in to get some plates. And then, oh, this one's not melted very much. This one's perfect. God, look at that. Unbelievable. This cheese is good. And you can see, well, this one we can melt the cheese a little more. You can see what I mean by the dish. Keep that in the dish. This has died down quite a bit, so. Oh, this one's perfect. Let's move this bad boy over. Oh, spilled. Let's keep that there. One more on this side. And there you have it. Let those other ones cook. Look at this. That's how you cook oysters, folks. Unbelievable. All right, let's uh, let's try these out. Oh man, I didn't get my drink. I don't even need it. You can taste the tequila. You can taste.